Here we are showing the pre-strategy baseline tab within Intuit Tax Advisor. And before we get into how to navigate this section, I just want to highlight a few key things. This top bar here will appear regardless of what tab you're on within the software. And on the top left-hand corner here, we can expand this out and it's going to pull some taxpayer information. And this is pulled directly from ProConnect and Lacert. And it just provides a few key high-level details that you can quickly reference whenever you need to, showing contact details, some information that's pulled over from that tax return that's been imported. The next piece is this profile tab. And if we click into here, this is where we can view and make changes or adjustments to the filing status, the primary state of residence, as well as making any adjustments to the dependent's information. Then you have an option to edit the plan name if you choose to do so. And finally, on the top right hand side here, you have a notes field where you can quickly add notes, store those notes, and collaborate with your team and store any relevant information. So the pre-strategy baseline in Intuit Tax Advisor, this is going to showcase your baseline numbers. And those would appear right here under 2022 Actual. And this is that 1040 tax return data that has been imported in. You can see all the different schedules and activities that, that are flowing through. Uh, each one of these is expandable. So you can go into a little bit more detail across income, expenses, deductions. Uh, so each one of these is expandable and you can do that individually or you can do that by expanding all of them at the same time if you want that granular detail across each activity. You can also hide the zeros, uh, which is going to hide all the lines with zeros across all of the columns if you want to have a little bit more room to work with. And this is also the area where you will make adjustments to the secondary baseline number. So if I click on this pencil icon here, uh, once again, this is pulled from the tax product, but this is where you would make changes across each of the activities that you know your client's going to experience or what you will expect to project out. So if I change that uh, with a little bit of increase in income from 72.5 to 90,000, we know that Larry is going to be making a little bit more money. That's where we would make that change here. And once you make that change, you'll be able to see that reflect across, across the board on the 2023 baseline, as well as the difference between the 2022 actual. And the last thing I want to show is how to add a new activity. And you can do this very easily. You just simply go in here to form or schedule, select what you would like to add, choose who it applies to, taxpayer or the spouse, input those actual amounts, and save those changes. So the pre-strategy baseline is going to pull in your baseline numbers and allow you to make projections to what exists on each one of these activities that you know is going to occur, as well as add any new activities. And once you've made those changes, then you are ready to start applying some of those tax saving strategies.